Tasting the Rotomel. Is it a bud or a dud? I know that doesn't make a lot of sense. It was the best I could come up with at the time. Bud to reference yeah. the flower bud rose. Yeah. So this is from a couple months ago. It's been aging for about three and a half months since we bottled it. Um, let's give it a shot to see what it's like. It's got a lovely pretty color. It has been chilled, so it's been in our mini fridge. Note the pores are smaller. We've got a lot of tastings to do, folks. <laughs> Someone asked if we're always like schnockered when we do videos. No. No. We are actually rarely intoxicated like, at all. Yeah. We are just natural spastic people. She is. I'm completely normal. <laughs> I have no idea what she's talking about. So as Brian prefaced, the color is really very pretty. It's like this pinky, orangey, reddish. Yeah. It reminds me of like a sunrise or a sunset. Yes. Sunset. Actually, very much so. Yeah. It, yeah. it actually looks a lot like tea, even. Like a nice orangey uh, Ruibos or something. Ruibos, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so on the it, it's perfectly clear, no cloudiness whatsoever. On the smell, I am certainly getting the rose. I get kefir lime he, leaves. Now, when you first smell it, yeah, you you get kefir lime leaves, but then after you're done being angry about that. This is one of like three brews. You, you do smell in. roses and it definitely smells like roses. When she pulled this out of the fridge for tasting, I said, can we get something that we're going to like? <laughs> As you can tell, Brian's predictions for this are rather grim. I smell kefir lime leaves. That's all I smell. I don't sm <laughs> I smell roses, so. I don't. I mean, if I think real hard, maybe there's a rose petal in there somewhere, but it's not. You know, the optimistic, pessimistic thing. I am completely optimistic. He's optimistic. Actually, I'm quite positive. I'm this. quite positive I'm not going to like this. <laughs> I'm going to give it an honest shake, mm. though. All right, so we're going to take a, a quick first sip to get acclimated, and then we're going to take a more investigative second drink. First impression, it's not. It does not taste as bad as it smells. Now, it doesn't smell bad. If you actually like the, the smells of lime, gotta remember, lime and me are still relatively not friends. Okay, I can do it, but not a big deal. Lemon, same thing. I like lemon a little more than lime. The flavor on this is really interesting. I have to say, it is far more complicated even on the first sip than I was anticipating. The flavor of the lime does not hurt it so much. It, you definitely get lime and rose, so it's kind of an odd combo. I don't know who thought of that when we were making this. All right. The lime goes a little bit bitter for me, but not too bad, just, just a, you know, a touch bitter. But then I, the rose comes through. I'm still getting honey in this, though. This is definitely a mead for me. I'm getting honey more than... I, I don't get a lot of honey flavor. I, I A little bit maybe on the finish. Need another taste, I guess. All right. On the entrance, honey. Then the, the kind of a bitterness from the lime. Then the rose, almost on the out breath. Yeah. And then on the finish, it starts with the lime bitter thing again. And then I get honey on the way down. So, yeah, now, it's honey in, honey out. I think sort of. part of our slanted viewpoints on this particular beverage is because I personally enjoy floral liqueurs where Brian. Sort of. Not as much. Yeah. I like fruity, but I don't really go for floral yeah. quite as much. We've had uh, a lavender liqueur, a uh, elder flower liqueur. That was better for me. Um, and I liked, I appreciated them and, and enjoyed them a the lot. Lavender, a lot I felt more like I was taking a bath. Than Brian did. So I think that makes me appreciate this more. And I don't hate it though. I, I, I don't hate it. I thought I was going to give this like a one. No, it's higher than one. It's higher than one. Um, but the the strength of the lime 
It overpowered the rose. I think it overpowered yeah. the rose and the honey. We've learned our lesson, okay? <laughs> yes, we have. By the way, Kefir limes are awesome. The lime itself, or lime juice and everything, they're fantastic. The leaves, don't use those. I mean, there is actually a wine or a tea or something. Someone was telling me about that. They use those. More power to them. I don't think I could do it. They, <laughs> they overpower. So... She's uh, speechless now. As far as food pairings for this, I would see this more Fish. as a as a after Oh, uh, it's meal. not super not, sweet though. It's not, not really a dessert wine. No, it's not a dessert wine. It just it seems like it's complicated almost discordant yeah. notes of flavor profile would be I know too a much really of easy an way to interruption. Improve it. For a meal, if that makes sense. I got a great cocktail for this. Take like a large mug of another mead that you really like and put a shot of this in it. Yeah, if you do just a really simple basic mead and then accented yeah. it. Th this, this is just the discordant is a good word for it. They don't go together all that well. It's not horrible and it's much better than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to give it like a three though. It's just, it's not my thing. I I am vaguely in the same ballpark. Oh, I, no. <laughs> I want to like it more, but it just seems like there's a power struggle between the rose and the lime, and they're not really helping each other out so much, I don't think. I think some people will really, really like this. Yeah. This is, this is my take on it. I think some right. people will really, really like this. And other people will not really get the flavors. I think people who like licorice will like this. That has a possibility. It has that weird discordant thing. See? We don't like licorice. We don't like licorice. <laughs> but overall, I'm still going to say it's a three. I don't even know that I'd cook with it because I don't know what I'd cook with it. No. and that's, It doesn't go. That's why I'm strugg strugg yeah, struggling trying to think of... I can't think of a food, food that this bearings. would be good with, to be honest. I mean, if you really, this is one of those very disparate things. If you like this, you're going to love this. You're going to drink it all day long and you're going to say, Brian and Derek, what the heck is wrong with you? And if you don't, you're going to understand exactly what we're saying. I cannot find a food pairing that this would be really great with. I mean, maybe like a white fish that's simply prepared. That's about the best I can come up with. Or I something think... overpoweringly strong. But I also think maybe like a simple tea biscuit with this, just like uh, a yeah. snack might sure. be nice. Like a sugar cookie, maybe. Really pungent cheese. Really pungent cheese. Because you wouldn't notice it anymore. <laughs> Not being very complimentary. I gave it a three. <laughs> Pretty much says it all. Um, to me, three means I, I'd cook with it, but I probably wouldn't even want to drink it with food. But this, I can't think of what I would add it to other than, I mean, if I was making like a fruity or a florally dessert or something that needed alcohol in it, like a Cherry's Jubilee, this might actually be almost nice in that, maybe. A shot of it. I don't know. Just uh, not my thing. I'm tempted to lower my score. No. Because I, I just can't figure out what to use it with. I'm not going to go lower than three because I... I I don't when I drink it I'm not going ah, I'm just no I'm just it's more like the little question marks like popping over my head. Bloop, 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 bloop. I just really don't like it much. That's all. But you know I don't hate it. It's not disgusting. <laughs> Glowing reviews, right? <laughs> all right, Rodamo, will we visit you again? Probably. And we'll leave out the kefir lime without leaves. Without the kefir lime leaves. If you like this video, we have about 300 videos on mead, wine, cider, and beer on our channel. Thank you for liking and subscribing. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.